I wanted to be a train. No, I don't think so. Have you ever thought about being a train, though? Well, now you can. Well, you could before, but I only just figured it out. So now you can. Most fluent intro I've ever done. And it all comes down to a certain melee that I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with. Hammer Strike is solar equivalent of shoulder charge. You run through it a bit, you spam your melee button, and you bonk something on the head with a lot of damage. You also damage anything behind it in a cone-like shape, and then also, if you kill the target, you bonk on the head, they ignite, which is something that'll come useful later. This melee is the perfect optimal contender of being a train, something I've always dreamed of in Destiny 2. Unfortunately, this melee is missing three key parts of being a train. Firstly, it's stopping power. It's a good melee, but it's not strong enough. Secondly, it's survivability. It puts you in a lot of danger and you can't really get out without dying, which is very, very untrain-like. Don't ask me what the survivability of a train is. I could not tell you. And then third, and most important, no infinite train glitch. <laughs> After you use the strike, you don't get the strike back, and that's not funny. So we're gonna solve those issues one by one. First starting with a stopping power, which we're obviously going to use Synthos Steps for. Synthos Steps increases your melee damage by three times when you're near three enemies. Full stop, that's literally what it does. Funnily enough, Hammer Strike is a melee, so when you're nearby three enemies, you get a three times damage boost on your melee. Very good. But it's not enough, so we're going to be pairing it with Mr. Roaring Flames. Mr. Mrs. I don't know. Roaring Flames will stack up to three times with each ability or ignition kill, and it's going to increase our ability damage. And funnily enough, Mr. Train over here is an ability and a melee. The Sensor Steps and Roaring Flames can combine together to give you an even stronger melee, but it's not enough. So for that final bit of stopping power, we're going to be going completely in early overkill and using 1-2 Punch. 1-2 Punch means when you hit every bullet of your shotgun, you're going to get a big chunky melee damage boost. All three of those together are going to give us incredible stopping force. How much, you might say? Well, it's enough to one-shot a Master Champion. Full stop. That's really strong. That's as strong as a train, you might say. Wow, look at that. That's so coincidental. It's almost like I was talking about you. This is so awful. <laughs> but that's only one of the issues that we've solved from not being a train. We haven't got our stopping power down, and we still need to be our survivability and our infinite melee the train glitch. Samus hammer straight glitch. Yeah. So, solving that second one, we're gonna use one literal singling aspect called Soul Invicator. This means when we kill something with an ability, which, funnily enough, Hammer Strike's an ability, we're gonna summon a Sunspot on the ground, which is gonna give us increased melee regeneration, as well as our other abilities, which is one thing, and then also, it's gonna give us restoration, which is gonna let us heal, which is gonna, obviously, increase our survivability, up to train level survivability levels. Those are two words in one sentence. You can also pair this with Ember of Empyrene? I don't know. Which is gonna let us extend our restoration and radiant effects when we get solar kills. And then with that all together, we've now solved two of the three things stopping us from being a train. We have the stopping power, we have the survivability, but not the infinite melee glitch. Sorry, infinite train glitch, my apologies. And we're gonna solve that with our mods. We're gonna be using five mods in total. Two melee well makers, one bountiful wells, one elemental charge, and one heavy handed. The melee well makers and bountiful wells are gonna give us three elemental wells when we kill something with our melee. And then, because of elemental charge, when we pick up a solar elemental well, or just an elemental well in general, we're gonna get charged with light, which is going to let us use heavy handed, which states when you use your melee, you're gonna get back half of your melee, full stop, as long as you're charged with light. All that together, you're gonna get like 80-90% of your melee back as soon as you use it. Very, very nice. Gotta love it. And of course, also, Soul Invictor is gonna give us a little bit of melee boost as well, which is gonna finish off that 90% to 100. Pair all this together, and you've become a train. I know, lifelong dream. No, but seriously though, you can one-shot champions with this, and then you have the survivability to get out of the room, and then also you get the melee back instantly, so you can one-shot another champion about four seconds later. This is great. This is very train-like. This is all I've dreamed of being, and I love it ever so much. I'd recommend using the build, but that's about it. Enjoy the gameplay. See ya.